Hey everyone, today I have a quick 10 minute class for you. This will be focused on your shoulders and your neck. We're gonna work through some areas of tension, hopefully create some more opening and space. Um, you don't need any props today, all you need is a yoga mat. So when you're ready, let's roll up the mat and get started. All right, so let's get started seated on our mat today. Come on down, cross your legs out in front. Sit up nice and tall through your spine. We're just gonna start taking some rolls through our neck, moving one way, maybe feeling some cracking, some creaking. Just noticing the areas of tension. And reverse, moving the other way. Taking some nice, slow, gentle rolls. And bring them, come back up to center. Roll the shoulders down and back, shrugging them up towards your ears, and then pinching your shoulder blades down, back together. Moving them up towards your ears, down and back together. Two more times. And come to your seated position. Plant your right palm down on the mat right next to you. And then sweep your left arm up and over. Drawing your shoulder out of your ear. Feeling your left side body grow long. And switch left hand down, right arm over. Again, bringing the shoulder away from your ear. And release, coming back to the other side. Right hand, right hand down, left arm over. And then start to reach your left hand towards the right corner of the mat. And rise back up, bring your left hand down, right arm over. And then reach your right arm towards the left front corner of the mat. And come back up towards center. Drop your hands off to the sides of the mat. Fingertips to touch the floor. Reach your left hand over to your right ear and then gently guide your left ear down towards your left shoulder. Feel the stretch through the right side of your neck. side, bring your left fingertips to the floor, reach your right hand over to your left ear, and then gently guide your right ear down towards your shoulder. Feel the stretch through your left side of the neck. Think about being very light with your right hand. You don't need a lot of pressure. And release. Take a roll in your neck. One way and then the other. And release. Sweep your arms out in front. Crawl your fingertips forward. Coming into a tabletop. From here, we're going to move into a thread the knee needle. So sweep your right arm up towards the sky. And then thread your right arm underneath your left, dropping your right shoulder and right cheek to the floor. Notice the stretch. You can keep your arm by your side. Or if you like, you can reach your left hand forward. Or maybe wrap your left hand back towards your right hip. One more round of breath here. And release your hand. Plant your palm right back by your face. Press into your left palm, sweeping your right arm up towards the sky again. And 
then bring your left hand back, right hand back down. Other side, sweep your left hand up and thread your left arm underneath your right, dropping your left shoulder and your left cheek to the floor. You can keep your right hand here, or maybe play on this side, reach your right arm out in front, or sweep it back behind, touching your left hip. Really noticing this through your shoulders. Notice the areas of tension. And release your hand back down onto the mat next to your face if you had it lifted. Press into your hand, sweep your left arm up, and come on back into the tabletop. From here, we're gonna drop down onto our elbows, coming down onto our tummy, coming into a sphinx pose. Rolling the shoulders down and back, about opening and broadening through the front of our chest, gazing forward, and release, coming to lay flat on the mat. Spread your arms out long, off to the side. From here, we're gonna work into the shoulders quite a bit. So bringing your right hand underneath your right shoulder, we're gonna slowly press into our right palm, rotating onto our left shoulder, and then kickstanding our right foot behind our left leg. Really notice this through your left shoulder. If this is too much, you can always come out. And release. Come on down, laying flat on the mat, bringing your left arm out, bringing your right arm out long again. And then other side, left palm comes underneath your left shoulder and start to rotate onto your right shoulder, kickstanding your left foot behind. Remember to keep breathing through these poses. And release back onto your belly. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and press up into your tabletop. Making sure your shoulders are above your wrists and your hips are above your knees. We're going to go through a couple rounds of cow and cat. So on your next inhale, roll the shoulders down and back, gaze forward, drop your lower belly. Exhale, press the mat away around through your spine for cat. Inhale, bring the shoulders down and back, dropping your belly, broadening your chest. Exhale, press the mat away, feel the space in your shoulder blades expand, tucking your tailbone upward. Inhale. Roll the shoulders down, cow pose. Exhale, press the mat away, tucking your tailbone for cat. Inhale, come back to your tabletop. Walk your hands forward and then gently start to drop your chest towards the mat, keeping your hips in line with your knees for a puppy pose. You can come down as far as comfortable for you. And release, rise up on our mat, coming back into your tabletop. Tuck your toes under, and then lift your hips up and back, hurry down facing dog. Drawing the shoulders out of your ears, bending your knees, feeling your spine grow long. And keeping your legs the same, the hips high, we're gonna drop up on. We're gonna drop down onto our elbows or dolphin, really bending into the knees, feeling the stretch through your shoulders, 
releasing your neck. And release back down to the floor. Knees come down. Untuck your toes and press your hips back for child pose. You can let your arms reach up ahead or if you'd like, sweep your arms behind you. Let your head come to rest on the mat. Feel your body being supported by the mat beneath you. Take some nice deep breaths in and out here. You can close your eyes or keep them open. up out of your seat and out of your child's pose. Coming up to a seat, taking some nice rolls in your shoulders one more time. Maybe a couple neck rolls. Noticing what feels different. Now at the end of class versus at the beginning. Hopefully a little bit more open. A little less tension. And with that, that is the end of our class today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if, what kind of class you'd like to see next. Leave a comment down below or follow me over on Instagram. You can leave me a message over there. Um, everything will be linked in the description below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our time together and I can't wait to see you on the mat next time.